So my name is Doug Belshaw and I'm Badges and Skills Lead for the Mozilla Foundation. Now earlier today I had to um, evangelise Open Badges. I'm only two weeks into my position. I didn't feel like I did a really good job of doing it. I felt like I could improve. So I'm going to use this opportunity to try and explain Open Badges to you um, in quite a short amount of time. So, here we go. You know all of those different qualifications we've got, like um, GCSEs in the UK and A-levels and degrees and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of all sorted, isn't it? We've got different levels and different qualifications for formal education. What we haven't got, really, is some kind of informal accreditation, some kind of informal way of showing what you know. Yes, we've got things like um, LinkedIn recommendations, um, and we've got that kind of word of mouth, we've got CVs, which you can put soft skills on. But we haven't got any kind of verified, stamped way of showing what you know. Now, all of those LinkedIn recommendations I mentioned earlier, pretty much all of them, show that people value things like teamwork um, and all the soft skills, like getting on with each other and meeting deadlines and all that kind of stuff, that isn't really addressed through formal education. So what Open Badges does is it tries to capture that. And it tries to capture that by providing a layer, an infrastructure, a way of showing what you know across the web. And the way that it works is through this Open Badges infrastructure. Now, if you can imagine that at the moment we've got lots of different systems and they're all in silos. So, for example, we've got some certificates there, we've got um, some points and maybe some badges here. And what we want is one kind of system where everything talks to everything else. And you can display your certificates and you can show what you know without having to go into a desk drawer, um, some kind of dusty desk drawer, once every few years to pull out your certificates to go to interview. So we want a way of showing across different websites maybe, what you've learned online, maybe through peer-to-peer -peer university, through some kind of online course, a MOOC maybe. It might be um, something that you've done at work, some like continuous professional development, something like that. We need a way of showing that across the web. So badges allow a different type of assessment. They allow for something called stealth assessment, which I'll go into in more detail if anyone asks me, um, but they allow for different forms of assessment. And what excites me most is that kind of peer assessment, that way of saying to somebody else on the same level as you, you've done a really good job there, I like the way that you do that. A bit like those LinkedIn recommendations. Now the way that it works is that the user has a badge backpack. Now at the moment, um, the only badge backpack that exists is the Mozilla reference one, but eventually anyone can have a badge backpack. Um, and the badge backpack that you have is one way you can store your badges there, and you can sort them into groups. Now, by default, all of those badges are going to be private, but you can make them as many of those as you want public, and you can put them into any groups that you want. So let's say you had very diverse interests. You're interested in, for example, um, online role-playing games, you're interested in photography, um, and you're a mathematician and stroke engineer by trade. You could show badges from the different facets of your personality to different people on different sites, like LinkedIn and Tumblr and Facebook and your own website, or you could decide to show them all together, or you could decide to show none. It's up to you. The user is in control. So the badge issuer issues the badge to the user, um, and the user, or the earner, or the learner, decides whether they're going to accept that badge and display it, um, and then they can decide where to put it. And that's where the badge backpack comes in, and the Mozilla API for being able to, to show those wherever you want. Now, Mozilla's got no real interest in, in owning people's data. In fact, we make tools to, to, to stop you being tracked. What we're interested in is, is having a kind of assessment layer for informal learning for the web. So we want the community to take this open badge infrastructure, free of charge, open source. We want you to go away and make some awesome stuff with it. And we don't know, we can't presuppose what it is that you're going to do with it. We just know that it's going to be awesome. So if you've got any questions about open badges, Ask me or ask at Open Badges on Twitter. He was Carla Casilli. Cheers.